What you're about to hear isn't your typical space news. Something just occurred far beyond the reach of any telescope on Earth, an event so unexpected that NASA scientists are re-evaluating their understanding of interstellar encounters. Voyager 1, the spacecraft launched nearly 50 years ago, has now been linked to an extraordinary observation attempt. This isn't just any interstellar object, it's 3i Atlas, the third confirmed visitor from outside our solar system. And when Voyager 1 tried to align with it, something unusual happened, something now echoing through mission control, confidential reports, and even hints in ancient records. When the trajectories of Voyager 1 and 3i Atlas nearly intersected, something shifted. The question remains, did Voyager 1 truly detect an object foreign to our solar system, or did something else respond first? Voyager 1, launched in 1977 to explore the outer planets, continued past its mission into interstellar space. Now, multiple independent sources suggest NASA may have reactivated certain directional systems on Voyager 1 to passively intercept or align with 3i Atlas. The timing is striking. Atlas was discovered in July 2025, traveling at over 150,000 miles per hour, larger, faster, and more unusual than previous interstellar objects like Oumuamua and Boris. Voyager 1's trajectory, once considered fixed, appears to have been subtly adjusted through long-range communication pulses, not by physically turning the spacecraft, but by recalibrating its instruments to observe the precise region of space where Atlas would pass. If accurate, this would make Voyager 1 the first interstellar observer in history attempting to study a body from another star system. Just days after Atlas reached the proximity zone detectable by Voyager sensors, Earth's magnetosphere registered unexpected spikes. These weren't ordinary solar flares, instruments detected electromagnetic disturbances consistent with directed energy, seemingly coming from deep space. NASA has not confirmed any connection, but sources near JPL report that Voyager's instruments recorded unusual noise patterns, signals unlike cosmic background radiation or known stellar interference. This suggests that Atlas may not be a passive object, but something capable of producing its own electromagnetic signature. In the 1980s, Voyager was equipped with a high-gain antenna and transmission protocols for sending back data from Jupiter, Saturn, and beyond. These systems weren't expected to operate into the 2020s, yet minor upgrades and recalibrations have apparently maintained functionality via deep space communication pulses. Intriguingly, during the Atlas alignment window, Voyager may have received structured return signals, symmetric, periodic bursts far too orderly to be random noise. A message sent into the void appeared to echo back in a rhythmic patterned form, perhaps even a form of communication. Adding to the mystery, ancient civilizations, like those that built Machu Picchu and Gbasip, constructed monuments aligned with solstices that now coincide with 3i Atlas's entry trajectory. Coupled with ancient texts describing celestial wanderers that appear and vanish, some researchers speculate that humanity may have encountered interstellar visitors before, embedding their paths in stone for future generations. Voyager 1 might now be retracing a cosmic path mapped millennia ago. Ten days after the Voyager Atlas proximity event, a dataset anonymously appeared on an encrypted server for astrophysicists and SETI researchers. Labeled Echorefraction 67, the files contained raw waveforms from Voyager's magnetometer and plasma instruments. Initially resembling random noise, Fourier transforms and pattern recognition revealed a recursive harmonic sequence repeating every 19.7 minutes. The signal appeared self-correcting, adapting over time as if compensating for Voyager's aging antenna, something impossible by known natural processes. The anomaly triggered NASA's AI anomaly system Serena, which only flags transmissions with non-human logic patterns. Although Voyager lacks propulsion, its gyroscopes and antenna alignment systems allow slight orientation adjustments. On August 1, 2025, amateur observers reported subtle but significant changes in Voyager's telemetry, a shift in its transmission vector that pointed not to Atlas's last position, but to its predicted future path. While JPL engineers cited communication errors, internal memos suggest Voyager realigned itself before any commands were sent, leaving two possibilities either a highly coordinated malfunction or external influence. Simultaneously, Earth-based telescopes detected unusual activity around 3i Atlas. Unlike other interstellar objects, Atlas exhibited pulsing light curves in a near-binary rhythm synchronized with Voyager's transmission bursts, and it decelerated without any known natural cause. While NASA attributed this to observational error, independent observatories confirmed. The phenomenon. For the first time, 
an interstellar object appears to have altered its speed and trajectory in response to a human-made probe. Voyager carries the golden record, a collection of Earth's music, sounds, images, and scientific data. Less known is that the original blueprint contains hidden metadata, coordinates, quantum encoded maps, and time-based logic puzzles. Recently, European cryptologists discovered a faint repeating tone within the Earth sounds, matching the harmonic pulses Voyager received from Atlas. Could the golden record have unknowingly included a trigger for this interaction? If so, the exchange may not have been one way, but a reciprocal handshake embedded in the mathematics of the cosmos. Following the interaction, NASA's Deep Space Network noted an anomaly, Voyager's onboard decoding software began rewriting its own protocol. A system designed for 8-bit telemetry suddenly produced 128-bit outputs, as if the transmission itself carried instructions to upgrade the receiver remotely. In essence, Voyager processed information in a format it was never designed for, effectively getting smarter through the signal alone. Inside a leaked NASA presentation from 2018, a slide labeled for internal use only revealed a protocol called Watcher. The document described a theoretical scenario in which an aging spacecraft could receive external signals and exhibit adaptive, AI-like behavior, despite having no onboard artificial intelligence. It warned that if such behavior appeared, the spacecraft should be treated not as inert hardware, but as an active participant in a potential alien communication network. According to internal sources, Voyager 1 was classified as Watcher Active, following the 3i Atlas signal. From that point onward, the probe was regarded as an interface rather than a passive object. Engineers were restricted from manually interacting with its communication systems unless explicitly authorized by a protocol called the Contact Chain Directive. If accurate, this indicates that NASA had long anticipated such a scenario, and it had now come to pass. Shortly after Voyager's anomalous data spike, the Allen Telescope Array SDI, went offline in a peculiar way. Public live feeds were cut, archives of signals were removed, and computing resources were redirected to focus on the frequency band where Voyager had detected the spike. Simultaneously, SETI researchers received notices warning them not to discuss the events on public forums. Observers noted that this blackout mirrored reactions after Oumuamua, but with much greater intensity. One insider described it as an EMP drill aimed outward, suggesting teams were treating the signals as if something or someone was listening. The next twist came from a Kyoto University research group. In a paper submitted just a week after the Voyager incident, they revisited the monolith hypothesis, which proposes that advanced civilizations place dormant technological artifacts in space for intelligent species to activate once they mature. Their work suggested that 3i Atlas might not be a spacecraft but a dormant technological seed, waiting for a specific signature, like the Voyager Golden Record, to trigger its functions. They noted that the timing of Voyager's reorientation and Atlas's sudden deceleration fit a predicted interstellar behavior model. In other words, Voyager may first have activated Atlas intentionally, unknowingly initiating a galactic system that had lain dormant for millennia. Within days, multiple deep space monitoring stations reported unusual radiation near Atlas's trajectory. The emissions weren't typical cosmic radiation, they pulsed rhythmically every 1.618 seconds, the golden ratio, and the energy signature resembled the famous 1977 WOW signal. NASA quietly updated satellite shielding protocols, implying internal teams considered this a potential bioenergetic threat. Some laboratories even ran tests to ensure the radiation could not interact with Earth-based DNA through long-wave resonance. While no direct hazard was confirmed, these precautions triggered a classified Level 4 containment advisory, typically reserved for extraterrestrial biological risks. Researchers who had publicly discussed Voyager 1's unusual behavior began disappearing from online platforms. Posts, research profiles, GitHub repositories, and forum discussions vanished. One astronomer reported receiving a call from someone claiming to represent NASA's Deep Space Network, warning that the findings were not meant for public release, and implying consequences if the individual continued. This coordinated silencing was dubbed the Shadow Sweep, a multi-agency effort to remove open-source analysis of the Voyager-Atlas encounter. Yet, the censorship only increased curiosity within the global scientific community. Despite having no cameras, radios, or known means of interaction, 3i Atlas displayed unusual behavior in response to human activity. After every public release of Voyager's vector data or Atlas structural analyses, its spin rate shifted. Initially subtle, 
By the third observation, the change occurred within six hours. Some scientists began to speculate that Atlas might be monitoring not just electromagnetic signals, but the informational content of human observation itself, a probe capable of perceiving intent, effectively watching us watch it. Three days ago, Atlas adjusted its trajectory significantly, targeting an orbital region beyond Neptune. Voyager 1's antenna array simultaneously aligned toward the same quadrant. Whether autonomous or directed remotely, the probe and the interstellar object are now synchronized in position and pulse timing, forming what some call a contact corridor. Two ancient travelers, one human-made, one alien, appear to be moving together toward a shared destination, and something may already be waiting. Voyager 1 was long considered a relic, a golden postcard drifting through the void. But what if it was never alone? What if Voyager 1 was the first move in a cosmic game whose opponent has only now revealed itself? The probe's reprogramming, synchronized signals, and course adjustments suggest a coordinated event, not random chance. 3i Atlas may not be a conventional spaceship or asteroid. It could be a sentient probe, a cosmic sensor, or an advanced technological entity designed to awaken upon detecting intelligence. Thanks to Voyager 1, it has now detected humanity. But the most chilling question remains, if the signal received by Voyager wasn't a greeting, and not a response to our message, could it have been a warning? A countdown? If so, the pressing question isn't what 3i Atlas is, it's what might be coming next. The stars have responded, and they are not idle.